this lion cloth did not slip? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my podcast. It's Shrit Space here where we talk about meditation, manifestation, spirituality and our very favorite speaking tree. Obviously, not to forget the sacred space. How are we all doing today? Let me know in the comments below. I am having a beautiful day today along with the birds chirping. I hope you can hear it in the background. I so do wish if you could be you could all be here and listen to the birds chirping. And yeah, this is one way of me showing my gratitude. I'm so grateful that I am in an surrounding in surrounded by an environment where the birds are always chirping and it just keeps me in a feeling of melancholy so yeah well let's just get back to our topic for the day which is how come his lion plot did not slip umar ram and ks ram the question relates to hanuman the context relates to his leaping across the ocean on the mission to gather intelligence regarding sita kidnapped by ravan and held in lanka the question is none other than the sarvagnana the 16th century kanda medicant poet sarvagnana is a household name of kanda speaking world one of his epigram reads as follows Crossing the sea, Raghuas Ravan leapt to the golden city. Yet, wonder, his land cloth never slipped. Sarvagnana. Hanuman has taken the earliest routes to cross the sea. He did not in the safest of a closed plain, but in full closure to wind pressure, and he had to contend with an ogress of the way. never once in all his did his lion cloth slip one can extend the wonder to include other flights of hanuman when he flew to the himalayas to fetch the miracle herb sanjeevni and when he fought aerial duels with ravana's son indrajit and other lanka land lords hanuman's lion cloth yet let recall what not secured by any modern day pins or hooks or zippers and yet it stayed in place apart from sounding witty and smart sarvagnan's epigram encapsulates the essence of medical wisdom which is the vedic wisdom the key word in the epigram of yoman hanuman did all that he did as an independent individual but as raghuas yamin as tulsidas puts it hanuman was atur even eager for action but not to implement his own mind his eagerness was to serve ram's cause ram's purpose he had no personal will or agenda he had to surrender his will to raghava when you make yourself a mere instrument of god acting in accordance with his will or his greater glory there is no chance of failure or in your mission there can be no slippage major or minor your line cross holds securely there is a message of the geeta krishna tells to the wavering arjun to cast away the qualms and to firm up to battle arjuna's despondency owed to the fact that he was himself an independent being confronted by the hard option of killing in the battle his dear ones krishna corrected his delusion by offering arjuna a simple way out arjuna should fight not for the sake of the pandavas but for the sake of god be you intent on doing actions for my sake geeta 1210 christians have the same good practice of starting actions with the invocation in the name of god the son and the holy ghost this is guarantee for success in case you fail 
accept such failures as a will of God. The crux of this prayer is, Thy will be done. There is no other option or a correct action or approach. As the Bible affirms, expect the Lord built the house, the labor, in vain that built it. Psalm 127 The real, the only doer is God, and the success of devotee's missions depend on the extent of which he acts as an instrument of the divine. In the Gita 11.35, Krishna assured, reassures Arjuna on the battlefield. These great warriors ragged here have already been slain by me. You rise and reap fame. Nearly 4 million followers perished on the Kurukshetra field. The five Pandavas survived. In the 18 days of battle toil, never once did their crowns roll down. Any wonder? Amazing story and it just makes us realize that if at all anything, we do not have to keep on thinking about our views and just do things as an option or as a being that God is helping us out throughout it everything and throughout our journey. So yeah, with that, let us move to the sacred space. I am the instrument. When you seek to reduce the service or suffering of any fellow man or fellow creature, whether your efforts succeed or not, you yourself are evolving spiritually. Especially if such service is rendered with detachment, the feeling should be, God is making me the channel of the service. He is the doer, I am the instrument. Ramana Maharshi Excellent, wonderful words and I just love that how small nugget size these informations are with an example, with a story and also which makes us believe that there is a presence of God and there is a reason why we do things without having an ultra motive or without having any selfishness regarding it. So yeah, with that, do let me know what are you up to these days and how are you feeling these days? What are the things that you are looking up to complete? And how does your daily schedule look like? I am very curious about that. So please do let me know about it. And with that, this is me, Shrit Space, signing off. Please keep conquering the world. I believe in you. Keep being grateful. And keep your vibrations way, way, way high. Bye-bye.